Today, I'm here at the tea utensil specialty store, Kakinuma. I like to find the tea utensils will be used in my tea gathering scheduled in spring. These are chaire, a candy for matcha powder used for koicha. It was introduced to Japan from China originally as a container for medicine or spices. When Chado started in about 500 years ago, the container was soon discovered to be a suitable to contain for matcha powder as well. Chaire is always accompanied with at least one pouch called shifku. The design of shifku is usually chosen from the traditional pattern used for wardrobe or furniture or ornaments used by the aristocracy or temples in the olden days. Each pattern has a name. The guest will ask the host not only for information on the chaire, but also the name of the shifku as well. More valued chaire comes with multiple pouches with different designs. We usually categorize chaire by their shape. This chaire is categorized katatsuki because of its shoulder-like shape on the top area. Kata translates as a shoulder in Japanese. We also appreciate the color and a pattern created by the glaze applied on the chaire. Usually, the part that shows the glaze dripping down is determined to be a front because it is the most outstanding part of the body. We call this trick nadare. It means avalanche in Japanese. Usually, the streak of nadare is one line, but this chaire has two lines. That uniqueness characterizes this chaire. Although the craftsman intended to make nadare, they cannot control how it comes out. Unique work is born by chance. In general, objects evenly painted are considered to be normal. So, it is an unusual concept that purposely presents the movement of the glaze. But in shadow, tea utensils are not just functional tools. They also have an important role to enhance the concept of shadow, whose purpose is to connect with the nature in a tea room without actually being in nature. Therefore, shadow practitioners enjoy observing the image, the streak of glaze. This chaire comes with a pouch with a Coptic pattern that originated in Egypt. It is an interesting fact that a Japanese who created chado, the domestic culture, also enjoyed combining it with a foreign culture at that time. This chaire is made by Koun Miyagawa. He is very talented because he has been producing not only masterpieces of chaire, but also a variety of tea bowls in different techniques. This chaire is priced at 30,800 yen including tax, which is about $255. This chaire is also categorized katatsuki, but its body is longer than the standard size. There was a famous long chaire which was once owned by Hideyoshi Toyotomi, one of the legendary rulers of feudal Japan in the 16th century. He was nicknamed Yari no Saya from its shape meaning the seat of the spear in Japanese. In the modern day, it is not unusual that craftsmen make replicas or make it as a motif of famous tea utensils often managed by museums so that the people can experience these inaccessible utensils. Actually, we don't know if the artisan of this chaire made a replica, but it reminds me of the work of Yari no Saya. 
This chaire was made by Setsuzan Onimaru in Fukuoka Prefecture, famous for Takatori wear. He is one of the leading craftsmen for Takatori wear and produced many masterpieces during the late 1960s. This particular chaire has a signature of the 15th Grand Master of the Urasenke Charo tradition on its box. This means that it is a genuine masterpiece that the Grand Master has certified. The chaire comes with two differently designed shifuku. One is named Teika Donsu. This particular pattern has been assumed that it introduced Japan from China in Ming Dynasty. It's been said that it's named after the famous geisha Teika who loved kimono with the same pattern. Donsu is the name of a textile made with certain weaving techniques. The other shifuku is named Dan Ori Botan. Botan is a type of flower, and Dan Ori means laying different patterns in tears. You can use either the shifuku according to the theme of your tea gathering. This chawe is priced at 160,000 yen including tax, which is about $1,342. This chaire is categorized taikai or often called daikai and both mean big ocean. It is said that it was named for its big opening. A string for taikai is double the length than the other chaire. Therefore, it is an intricate process to handle the string which is interesting for the guests watch. This chair comes with a shifuku featuring a pattern called Tsurugaoka Kanto, which was used for the sacred treasures of the Tsurugaoka Shrine in Kamakura. Usually, the pattern is colored brown or khaki, but this one is pink, so it would be appropriate for spring. Among these chair, the cherry similar to Yari no Saya is attractive to me. The slim shaped body makes it sophisticated and one of the shifuku with the bottom, which is a spring flower, is appropriate to celebrate the season. Kakinuma is located in the center of Asakusa, Tokyo. There are many train and subway stations around it. I will introduce the main stations located within a 10 minutes walking distance. This is the Sakusa station on the Tobu Line. You can use Umamichi Street and take a left on Kototoi Street. There is a Lawson convenience store and a sweet shop Asakusa Nakamuraya and cross the street at the intersection. Take a left at the drug store. And this is Asakusa station on the Ginza line. You can also go through Sensoji Temple and enjoy the approach and the temple as well. When you pass the temple, you can reach Kototoi Street, then it will be the same as before. This is a success station on the Tsukuba Express Line. Take a right on the Kokusai Street. Take a right on the Kototoi Street. Take a left at the Gorogoro Kaikan. And take another left at the drugstore. store. 
The opening hours are 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturdays. In Volume 4, I will talk about Natsume, a container for matcha powder used for usucha, a thin matcha tea.